Okay, I'm going to start by opening our source image, which is Madonna True Blue Album Cover. And the first thing I'm going to do is boost the colors. So I'm choosing colors, here and saturation. I'm going to boost the saturation of the colors. Just to make it a bit more pronounced. After that, I'm going to choose uh, filters, blur, and pixelize in order to pixelize the image. I'm going to choose pixel size 15. Click OK. Next step is to create a new image uh, for our pattern. We need a pattern to apply to this. So if I choose File New, and I want the image to be 15 pixels by 15 pixels. Under Advanced Options, I would prefer to have a transparent background. Which is OK. So now I've got two images open. One for the pattern and our source image. I'm just going to zoom in on this image a little. Oh. And I'm going to draw using the elliptical selection tool, I'm going to draw a circle. There we go. So, circular selection. Uh, I don't want to actually select the circle, I want to in re invert or reverse that selection, so I'm going to choose select and invert. And I want to paint with black using the paint bucket tool into each of the corners. I might click a second time just to make that a little more pronounced. So that's the pattern, and I now need to save it as a pattern. So I choose File Export. And under Select File Type, I choose GIMP Pattern. And I need to save this in the GIMP Patterns folder. So on Windows, that will be under C. Program Files GIMP Patterns. For me, it's under Linux here. I'm looking for GIMP 2.8 and Patterns in my home folder. I'm going to see what they're called. 15 Pixels. Pixel Pattern. Save that. So I've exported the pattern. So we'll return to the Madonna image. I'm going to create a new layer, transparent. And on that new layer, I'm going to apply the pattern using the paint bucket tool again. But rather than filling it with a color, I'm going to choose a pattern. Now, when I choose the pattern, I've got my pa pattern palettes open here. And I don't have my new pattern that I created earlier here visible yet. So I need to refresh this list. Once I refresh, I can see my 15 pixel pattern is in there now. So with the paint bucket tool and the pattern, and the 15 pixel pattern selected, I'm going to fill this layer with the pattern. So now you can see we're getting close to that candy petal type uh, pattern that we're looking for. If I zoom in a little, you can see that we're close to the effect that we're looking for. The next thing I want to do is on each of these circles I want to apply a bevel. So on this top layer, I'm selecting the top layer and I'm going to choose the select by colour tool. And I'm going to make sure to select some of the black. So all the black uh, has been selected. I need to invert that. So I choose select invert. So that I've now got all the circles selected. Now I want to apply the bevel, not to this layer, but to the Madonna layer, so I choose the Madonna layer now. And I now per perform the bevel. So to choose filters, decor, and add bevel. I'm going to make the bevel maybe 2 or 3 pixels in size. I'm going to choose OK. So I've now applied that bevel. I need to zoom in in order to try and notice it. So you can see that each of these little circles now has a dark darkness on one side and lightness on the top left. So a slight bevel there of three has uh, done the job. So next uh, I want to uh, apply a bit of a glow and some blur just to soften the whole thing. So if I choose from filters, artistic, soft glow, I'm going to choose a nice just something very small. You can see the preview here, you can amend it. 
as you want. I'll take the brightness right down because I don't want the brightness affected. And sharpness, I'm just give that medium. So I'm going to try that and see how that fares. And after I've added that glow, I'm going to blur it up a little bit using filters, blur, and Gaussian blur. And just about, uh, I think, two or three maybe again. Try three. Click OK. OK, so that's softened the whole bevel effect of the paint. You see right now. I need to get rid of the selection so that we can see what's going on. We've got our candy pill Madonna effect. More less complete, you can play about with it a bit more if you want. Uh, to finish off, we could choose File Export and uh, save a version of the file, not as a PAD file, but as a, maybe a JPEG or something like that. And we'll save it under Pictures. We'll call it Madonna. Oh. Just export that file. If you want to print it out, keep the quality high. 